Well, Alzheimer's is one of the deadliest diseases in the United States. Right now, more than 6 million Americans are living with the disease. Our Max Massey shows us a local organization working to help find a cure and create a community for those affected. Tracy Gibbons is like so many people around the world. She had to watch a parent go through the unimaginable. It just wasn't her. It, was, it just wasn't her. And it was sad to watch it happen. My mom was diagnosed about six years ago. We got involved about five years ago. We did the walk. Watching her over these last several years just deteriorate has just been heartbreaking. You don't understand until you see someone go through it. Tracy's father stepped in as a full-time caregiver, and then the pandemic hit. She passed away. They both got COVID back in June. My dad passed away from COVID on July 19th, and my mom passed away on August 4th. Now Tracy wants to make sure future generations don't have to go through what she did. And she wants us to know the fight to end Alzheimer's doesn't end. After seeing my parents go through it, that we can't do it this year. So it's all going to be virtual. There will be a ceremony and then the walk will take place at 930 in the morning. But they can walk wherever they want to. It doesn't matter where they live. They can they can live out of state and they can still walk with us. Hopefully thousands of people coming together virtually for a good cause. The mission is just to um, get the word out and we need help with um, funds, especially now for research. You know, there is no cure for Alzheimer's. This year's walk is virtual. The hope is to get as many participants and as many walkers as possible. Right now, they're at about 50% of the goal, but it's not just about raising money. It's also about raising awareness. No one survives it. That's the whole thing. That's what we're shooting for is the, the white flower, which we don't have yet because no one survived it. Max Massey, KSAT 12 News.